This almost concludes EASD Doc Day. Unfortunately, there was almost no time for Q&A, but I see the Twitter chat, sorry, the Facebook chat has been very, very busy. So please find the speakers, find and talk to them there or talk to them on Twitter or on Instagram or whatever is your most favorite channel. Usually at real life Doc Days, had this been in Vienna, had this been at the conference, this right now is where the most interesting part of Doc Day starts. It's where people get up and meet and mingle and say hi and start talking and collaborating and brainstorming and coming up with new ideas, getting together. We won't have that today. But don't worry, we created something else together with our friends and supporters, again from the United States, Children with Diabetes, Friends for Life, Jeff Hitchcock and his team, thank you very, very much for helping us pull this off. Friday, three days from now, we will host Doc Night. And Doc Night will be an open Zoom event for having what we can't have right now through Facebook Live. It will be an open Zoom event. Every diabetes advocate around the world is invited to come, to join, to meet up, to find many of the people you've been hearing and seeing today present and many, many, many others be it at EASD or not at EASD, it doesn't matter. Just pop by, trust me, it will be fun, it will be good. Before we end this, I would once again like to thank our partners, those partners that have made the DDoc Voices possible. So that is Dibelube, our platinum partner, Novo Nordisk, our gold partner, Ascensia, our silver partner, and least, last not least, my sugar case, our startup partner, because we always try to have a startup supporting us uh, as well and this is my sugar case this year. So thank you for making this possible. Thank you for ensuring that there is a strong patient representation, a strong patient voice, and the DDoc voices at EASD here in this virtual Vienna world, or right now here in Copenhagen or around the world on sofas and home offices, wherever people are watching right now. We have a lot more people applying to the DDoc Voices. We have a lot more people that wish to speak today at Doc Day. Uh, we cannot go more over time. We're already past the two hours now. But do not worry. There is a new Doc Day coming up in less than a month, in three and a half weeks at ISPAT. And we'll have, as I said in the beginning, we'll have patient advocates joining us, especially from Africa, coming through Life for a Child. We'll have more presentations. We'll have more people here in a very, very similar format. It's just around the corner, Friday, October 16th. Find it on our website, www.ddoc.org, or join the Facebook event. For now, thank you all for joining. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying so long. Thank you for watching this afterwards. We will definitely make more shorter videos to roll out over the next couple of days and weeks to increase engagement. Please do as all of us at DDoc do, pay it forward. Share what you have heard, share what is relevant to you. Make sure more people with diabetes come forward, become active, especially if they are in a darker corner, as we said in the beginning, especially if they're living with type two, especially if they have never been to these kind of events. Make sure they at least see this and maybe this will empower them and uh, we will see them in the future. Thank you for joining. I have to thank, before we sign off, my great team here in Copenhagen, in Berlin, in Zurich and around the world, even in Melbourne with Renza. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for making this possible. I'm signing off now. This is DDoc. This was Virtual Doc Day. Goodbye.